Let's now shift our focus to the finance bill. And a section of members of parliament from the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition now say they will vote close by close on the bill, emphasizing that any clauses not serving the public interest will not pass in parliament. Speaking in Koitoguma, Algeo Marakweta, West Member of Parliament, Timothy Kipchumba stated that when the bill reaches the floor of the House, provisions that benefit the public will pass, while draconian measures will be rejected. Algeo Marakweta, Senator William Kipsang called on members of Parliament to approach the vote in the National Assembly with sobriety. <laughs> Finance bill ambaye inakuja katika bunge Sisi kama wajumbe Tumeamua Tutakikisha kwamba wakati tunapitia Kipengele baada ya kipengele Tutakikisha kwamba kipengele Kile ambacho kinafinya wananchi wetu wa kawaida Mwananchi wa kawaida Tunakikisha sisi pia tunaifinya chini Isipite kupitia bunge Kwa mfano Ile ushuru ambayo 16% inataka kuwekelewa ku, 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 ku. That proposal in terms of finance bill is not the final. The people now who, will, who are going to save the ASLA is the members of National Assembly. It's the members of National Assembly. All of you, the common Mwananji, please watch your MPs. See how they are going to vote on the amendments. And I want to ask the government and I want to ask those who are drafters of the budget that please don't increase the price of bread. These kids wanapatanga mkate, sinio? Tukitoa mkate 50 shillings, tuweka 100 shillings. Bado wazazi kweli bado ata afford. Now, staying with the Finance Bill 2024, political leaders in the Mount Kenya region have urged President William Ruto not to implement.